got the refugees, all stars, rubber dubbing in the club. Why Clef John? John Forte. Roswell. Nah, I mean the streets are getting a little crazy. Look at 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 here. Look at shorty got back. Hi, my name is Elliot and I'm uh, work with the IT department. I'm going to show you a little hobby I've been working on, home automation project uh, in my spare time. Um, pretty much what's happening is that when I pulled up in my car, my phone is in a range of the wireless network, which detects that I'm home, and therefore will start uh, turning on various devices in the house, like the lights in the media center and stuff like that. And then when I walk in, they should give me a greeting and we'll see how that goes. So, come with me. F-U-G-E-E, get the CD from Sam Goody, he you ain't even close with the rhymes that you wrote, don't be mad. Welcome home, Elia. I have created a playlist of your favorite music for you. Loading it now. Oh, thank you. The next thing I want to show you is the media center system that I have here. I set up XBMC as the primary interface, and um, it's a really nice system. I can control it with any number of remotes, um, anything from this iPad, my phone, a keyboard and mouse, and you can show you things like um, the music, movies, and TV shows can all be stored electronically on the server without me having to store uh, racks and racks of DVDs. So um, you can see here how it has an interface where you know you can see how many albums and songs and artists I have there, and on the right side it shows all the recent um, albums that have been acquired there. Um, then go on to movies here, and you can see um, again the latest movies once I press up here. And um, I can watch the trailer to it right away by just pressing the right arrow key there and just gives it loads it up. And then um, if I go inside of the movies there, you can kind of see the, um, how the setup is. Pretty much I can just get a list of all the movies. And then as I stop on them, you know, you can get the information about the movie and of course still press the, and see the trailer if I, if I want to there. And then the TV shows, it's also a nice thing. Um, so when you go into there, it's, um, it shows you the same numbers there and then when I go inside of it, you can see the various TV shows that are available and, you know, watch anyone that you like there and get the information on. The next thing I want to talk about is the lighting control system. Uh, it's basically all controlled by X10 devices and um, I wrote some of my custom programming so that I can control the various lights in the house. Um, the one I've been working on most recently is this one for the iPad. And as you see here, I can um, launch this app here. And what it'll do is it'll show you um, pretty much pictures of the various rooms of the house. So if I want to interact with, say, the kitchen or dining room here, I can just click on that. And then as you can see here, there's a picture that represents, you know, the, that room. So as you can see here, just like in real life, all of the lights are off. And then if I want to interact with them, all I have to do is touch the photo itself. So if I want to turn on, say, the dining room lights, I just click on the dining room lights and you'll see that they'll turn on here. And then also in the picture, it reflects that the lights are actually on. I also have the dimmers here where I can control, you know, the various dim of the devices. So if I want to drop, say that down to 50%, or raise it all the way up to 100%, and everything dims there. Same thing with the kitchen, I could turn that on and off here, so the kitchen lights, and you can see they turn on in there, or shut them back off again, and it turns off there. Um, and then also for the various rooms, uh, I said I could do the same thing. I go back to navigation, and if I want to control the living room, then as you can see here, um, you can see the living room as a whole, or if I want to, I can focus in on just this area right here, where the same thing, if I click on the light itself, the light turns off. If I click on the TV itself, the TV turns off. And as you can see here, the photo updates with the status of the devices. So here I can turn the TV back on, as well as the lights and as you can see here the dimmer is also corresponds with it and then I can also click on the um, Xbox to switch inputs on the TV to the Xbox or press on the media center to switch the inputs back to the media center on the TV and you see it shows that the TV is on and there it is on again so that's uh, the lighting control from the iPad and like I said I could do the same thing on my phone or with any other device in the house for the most part uh, the next thing I want to show you is my bedroom, so I can show you what happens there uh, in the morning. This is my bedroom. I just want to show you the, the setup that I have here. Basically, it's very similar to what you saw in the living room. I have the play controller over the media center, the lighting, and everything. Um, this time I want to show you the phone app that I use to, to control everything that I wrote. And um, as you can see what it looks like here. Um, 
I control the bedroom or any other part of the, the house here. But as you see, the lights here correspond with everything here. So if I want to turn off the lights, uh, these lamps, for example, hit the button and they shut off. I turn them back on again. You can see the same thing with the dimmer control. Same thing in the bathroom. Um, I even have a light here. I can show you here. Um, <clears throat> another switch. So um, I have the bed light here, which turns on this light in bed. And then, as you can see here, I have a little switch on the side of the panel there that pretty much controls the, the three main lights of the room so that I can turn them off or on from laying inside of bed and having to get up. And you know, this is what wakes me up in the morning. I pretty much have it set at 7 a.m. It'll start turning everything on. It'll you know boot up this computer here. It'll you know turn on the TV and then it'll start playing music in the morning to wake me up. And you can see I have the computer hidden behind here. I'm gonna show you this little thing here. I have it velcroed on little computer and it just sits right back here with velcro so it's out of the way and out of sight out of mind and then in the morning when I'm getting ready you see here everything that you see going on on the TV there is happening inside of here so I can listen to music and um, watch you know movies or whatever and be able to still view them while in the shower or getting ready in the morning and um, so that's pretty much for the bedroom the next thing I want to show you is the server room here. I have a nice little setup. Um, inside of here, you can see is where all the magic happens. I have um, pretty much Cat6 cable running everywhere in the house, and it all drops back to here where I have a, um, you know, the patch panel and a 16 port gigabit switch. Um, as you go down here, I have pretty much this is the main server. It has uh, several virtual machines running on it. I pretty much have an entire domain set up. Um, and uh, this is where all the storage is at. So all that music, TV shows, and movies you saw earlier can all be um, accessed from this server here, anywhere in the entire house. And then um, as you go lower here, we have um, things like uh, firewalls, um, a DMZ for you know external emails and uh, web pages and stuff like that, a battery backup system. And as you can see on the wall, I have a network map that kind of just has a pretty much overall layout of how the network is set up here. And this is the uh, virtual system that you're seeing with all the virtual servers that are inside of there, um, the DMZ area, and then the various devices throughout the house, you know, all laid out there on the map. All right, the last thing I want to show you is uh, how I can turn everything off in the house when I leave for the day. Um, basically, I just have a little shortcut on my phone that when I hit the button, it sends a signal that uh, tells uh, the house to shut all the lights off and uh, shut down any computers that are on. So um, basically, all I got to do here is go into the phone, and I have this little app here that says uh, Secure Home. And when I click on that app, everything should shut down. So as you can see, all the lights are off in the house and turn off the computer and now I can leave for the day. Well, that's everything, thanks for watching my video and um, I guess I'll catch you next time.